Chola the Drawer, an artist and adventurer from the UK. Let's get creative. Good morning, beautiful people. So today I am on day four of this mural. So I thought I'd give you a little show around. So as you can see, I've been working on the top. There's still that bit to go and all the bottom but day four we're starting to see some progress so where i'm painting this is in the manufacturing room so this mural is for labre hope and this mural is for this amazing company that um is going to be helping people get out of homelessness so by doing that they've set up a business where they will be employed making soaps so this is going to be the manufacturing room so it is huge this is where all the soap making is going to happen and then this mural is here to inspire and empower um, the, the workers every day so that they can grow and aim for amazing things so let's have a look just how big this is da, da, da. There you go. So that's the full wall and full space. And in here, there's going to be all workbenches. And it looks like I haven't done that much. I have been going for three days solid. So let's crack on, get back up the scaffold, and continue with this bit up here. The design for this mural is broken up into kind of three parts that all flow together. So this is the first part over here, which is the growth section, which it's only got a bit on. Then we've got the middle bit, which is the community section, which you'll start to see come into shape because that's the bit I've done the most of so far. And then we have the onward section, the last, the last section here. So that's today I'm going to be starting on a bit of that one. Let's get painting. I'm up at the top again and I've got a new colour, green. But I want to show you how clean this line is because nobody is going to come up here and see it. So look at that. So it's time to have some lunch, so I thought I'd show you around the rest of the place so you can see what else is here. But yeah, I've been up there this morning and started on a new colour green, which is exciting. Probably got it on my hands. So this is the manufacturing room. And then we're going to go up to the other rooms and offices and also make a pot noodle. So you might know that I usually bring my Spice Girls lunchbox with me, but actually this time I have a swimming bag full of treat snacks. But I've got super noodle for today for lunch, so let's boil the kettle. It has to be Yorkshire tea bags, we're in Yorkshire. up it's time to get some more of that paint on 
Each one of these sections has a different pattern to give off the energy that I feel those words really need. But what ties them all together is this yellow brick road across the bottom and also this pattern of dots. So on this final one, it's kind of confetti. On the middle one, it's more kind of flow. And then on the first one, you'll see it's giving off this like fizzing energy of growing. Patterns are really important to me because they give off a certain sense and they also um, provide kind of a change to the feel of the room. End of day four. We're getting there, we're going down. Day five and we're straight into it with a new colour. Ooh, look at that green. This business is empowering people who are experiencing homelessness, not just by employing them full time to make soap, but also by giving them well-being sessions and employment coaching. And so part of the design of creating this mural is to make sure that the colours, the patterns, the feeling, the message is empowering. This is the onward section. So with this pattern, it's that kind of extra push, that extra, um, oomph that you need in your day when you're trying to get over um, obstacles, problems, issues that you're trying to deal with and you need to take the next step towards whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. So that onward is, you know, keep pushing onward, giving that little bit of energy and oomph to go on to the next step. And we're here cheering you on. On to the final top part now. This is the first section and we're finally at the top. So once this is done, we can go on down. It's gonna get easier, no more high scaffolding. And um, this is the growth section. So you'll see it starting to come to life. End of day five. Good morning. I was so tired last night. I slept for 10 and a half hours and now I'm brush in hand, raring to go up the top here. Let's get this part done. Took me quite a few times to get this fun. Drawn in, a bit smudgy with all the chalk lines I have to rub out, but that's why we use chalk so that you can change the lines before you paint. End of day six, up in the top corner, just got that last bit to do, and then we're down on the lower levels. Day seven and the plants are growing. They're using all natural ingredients for the soap. So it was really important to have um, imagery of plants and growth. To, so it represents the product, but also the people that are gonna be working and learning here are gonna be growing every day too. I have to show you the top because no one's gonna see it. really sweaty now <laughs> finish that top bit out there <laughs> it's hot up there now last bit with the platform and then we go 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 on the bottom day eight you're gonna start to see it coming together a lot quicker now now we're lower down so getting those final dots and details at this level on the beautiful growth section and then we're on to the community bubbling away and then we have onward almost finished too end of day eight we're now down to ground level this one's coming along second coat of yellow and 
almost time for the people. And that one's almost done. Eight days! <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.